Hello and welcome. My name is Andy B. Rodriguez and today is July 21st, 2022. That is crazy. Time is moving by real fast. Uh, but anyways, today I decided I am going to draw some stills from the Twilight Zone that I pulled off from P Pinterest. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I thought if I was going to start off uh, with the Twilight Zone, I might as well go with the guy himself, Rod Serling. I haven't actually watched uh, The Twilight Zone, at least not in a good while. I think I was 12 actually when I gave it a good watch. I remember liking it too. Um, I just haven't gone around back to it. Uh, the main reason though I went it for it was just Mostly because it's an old black and white thing, and the thing about uh, old black and whites, they have good distinctive lights, light sources, and so it makes for a good study. Although, I don't think this was from the TV show itself. This is just a random photo of Rod Serling. Can't forget his hair. That's funny too, because I was watching, or I was looking at these photos, and like they look so dated uh, with all their wardrobes and hairstyles. And I just thought that was interesting because a lot of the concepts were very progressive ahead of its time I was yeah I, I would say that um yeah it was, a lot of it was ahead of its time including Rod Serling himself if you watch old interviews he's very clearly thinking very progressively and yeah I just thought that was funny considering how dated they look. Yeah. Um, have you guys watched The Twilight Zone by chance? If you have, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. I remember finding it interesting, but I could have just been romanticizing it in my head. Yeah, and of course, the details are going to come out not too well on the camera, so I'll just be sure to have a... I'll take a good picture for the thumbnail. The other thing, too, that I find interesting about characters like these with uh, Rod Serling uh, and the uh, creative people of his time was that these were men that had served, uh, or at least people that had served, and they just came up, they just came back with some crazy stuff in their head, and I guess they really just had to get it out some way. While also paying the bills, you know. And I think because of that, it really was kind of like make or break for some of these people. That's just some speculation on my part, though. I don't know. Yeah, I always just find it interesting because. I don't know, when these men came back from the war, it was like, they in, they just came back so messed up, or maybe not messed up, but they just needed an outlet, 
so much so that they ended up fathering a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, at least, yeah, for the creative industry, it's just a lot of crazy stuff uh, in terms of fantasy, sci-fi, I think. And there were definitely more characters than Rod Serling. Oh, uh, I was thinking about, uh, oh man, I'm forgetting his name, but the the main creator on Star Trek, I want to say it was Gene something, but he had also done time serving, and I definitely think that was a factor that played into uh, serving this genre. Because when you think about it, Twilight Zone and... Uh, I'm spacing so bad here. Uh, Twilight Zone and Star Trek had both... had both been pretty foundational for the industry, you know? In terms of just sci-fi. At least in the, for the TV field. And then, you know, that's Rod Serling, but I think I messed up his nose a bit. His ridge wasn't that deep. There we go. And then this next lady, I don't remember her name because it's been so long, like 10 years for me since I watched this show. Uh, I think I was about 12. But I still remember this episode pretty vividly. Uh, it was called The Lonely. And essentially it was about a convict who was sent to Mars. And I think he was just sent there as like a waiting trial sort of thing. So he wasn't even really in jail, but I'm not too sure on that. Um, but they sent him to Mars with a robot lady, an android, so he wouldn't get too lonely. And I always found this episode really interesting because at first he thought of it as a mockery of what he lost with the human connection. And he starts changing his mind on the whole idea the second he thinks that he's hurt her. And so I just found that really interesting as a kid and it really stuck with me. Like, as soon as he heard her, that's when uh, he thought he saw humanity in this android. So much so that uh, once it was time to go, he couldn't couldn't leave her. Uh, portraits are interesting. They're fun, especially for, well, they're just drawing people's fun in general. But uh, what's interesting about women is, uh, and trying to depict them is how easily you can mess up one way or another. I guess that's one way to put it. But just in terms of rendering in lines 
Like, it's very easy to accidentally age up a woman more than you meant to just by accidentally adding a wrong line or too many lines here and there. And so you end up playing this game uh, of trying to be descriptive, but not trying to age these people up too much. And the same thing can happen with men too, but I think because, I don't know, I think because they they can come across more gritty, their personality, like they're allowed that I guess but well I don't know if allowed is the right word but it's just uh it looks less wrong when you do it to a guy I like this photo just because she was smiling and I I'm trying to stray away from just doing just doing the relaxed rela resting face I mean it's fun and interesting it's just uh, it adds a bit more energy when they when you can pull off the expressions I feel like Did I pull this off the... I don't know. You tell me. think no hold on just hit a bit okay time for the next face oh here's one uh this is another episode i remember uh i don't remember the name of it but uh it was where death visits this guy uh, he visits, yeah, Death Visits a Cell Man. And I actually think the title, the episode title might have not been too far off from that description. And so in this episode, it's basically just that death visits a salesman, or a salesman, where 
I think this guy just sells toys to kids um, off the street. And it's just his time. And uh, it was interesting. Because he may, he struck a deal, essentially. He thought he out-tricked the devil. Or not the devil, death, sorry. Uh, he thought he, he would outsmart death by saying, making him a deal that so long as he accomplishes this goal, that's when he can pass on. Um, but he just simply does not do it. I can't remember what the goal is, but he just doesn't do it. And thinking he outsmarts death. Because he just stays, uh, he d his time just doesn't come. And so in order to balance the scales, death just takes a kid. And not realizing that that was consequence, the salesman takes it back. I don't know what it is about these episodes, but they just really stuck with me as a kid. I think I just... Tragedies are just that memorable. Because a lot of these are very tragic. And so you tend to remember. There's just a, a weird human bias there, and like... I don't know. I think we should be very mindful of that just because it's good to remember the good stuff, too. It is funny, though, because out of all the Disney stuff, as a kid, I definitely remember those saddest bits the most. So it is funny. Uh... But yeah, uh, if you remember any of these episodes, let me know. Let me know what you think. Be curious to get your thoughts. Uh, I know Rod Serling made these with a lot of uh, social commentary. And I think it definitely comes across, especially in episodes like, uh, what was it? The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street. Oh, that was probably my favorite episode. Where it's just like all these all these neighbors turn against themselves, thinking they're they're all each uh, aliens. Found that really interesting, even as a kid. But it's really it can be subtle though, so I I don't blame anyone for not picking up on it. So it's it's a bit funny that way. Or maybe you're just drawing. Let me know what you're drawing with me. Because I know I like to listen to stuff while I'm trying. Maybe you have questions. Just about anything, really. I'll be happy to answer. Whether it's uh, drawing related. Maybe career related. Although probably not the person to be answering those. I'll do my best. Life. Maybe I have those answers. No, no, I don't. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, just leave a comment. Let me know. If you like what you see, just uh, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next week. And thanks for tuning in.
I uh, hope you guys have a nice weekend. Uh, that makes a sketchbook page, though, from the Twilight Zone. Thanks.